Rick Mayall. Richard Michael Mayall, March 7, 1958, June 9, 2014, was an English actor, comedian and writer. Mayall formed a close partnership with Ade Edmondson while they were students at Manchester University, and was a pioneer of alternative comedy in the 1980s. Mayall starred in numerous cult classic sitcoms throughout his career, including The Young Ones, The Comic Strip Presence, Black Hatter, Filthy Rich, and Cat Flap, The New Statesman, Bottom, and Believe Nothing. Mayall also starred in the comedy films Drop Dead Fred and Guest House Paradiso, and won a Primetime Emmy Award for his voiceover work in The Willows in Winter. His comedic style was described as energetic post-punk. Mayall died suddenly on June 9, 2014 at the age of 56. BBC television director Danny Cohen praised him as a truly brilliant comedian with a unique stage presence, whose fireball creativity and approach to sitcom had inspired a generation of comedy stars. Early Life The second of four children, Richard Michael Mayall was born on March 7, 1958 at 98 Pittman's Field in Harlow, Essex to Gillian, Nay Harold, 1930-2018, and John Mayall, 1925-2011. He had an older brother, Anthony, and two younger sisters, Libby and Kate. When Mayall was three years old, he and his parents, who taught drama, moved to Droitwich Spa, Worcestershire, where he spent the rest of his childhood and performed in his parents' plays. He attended King's School, Worcester, where he obtained a free scholarship and failed most of his O-levels and scraped through A-levels. In 1975, Mayall went to the University of Manchester to study drama. He has claimed that he failed his degree, or that he did not even turn up to his finals but in reality he graduated with lower second-class honours in 1978. He met his future comedy partner Ade Edmondson, Ben Elton, a fellow student, and Lisa Meyer, with whom he later co-wrote The Young Ones. Career Young Ones and the Comic Strip Edmondson and Mayall gained their reputation at the Comedy Store, from 1980. Apart from performing in their double act, 20th Century Coyote, Mayall developed solo routines, using characters such as Kevin Turvey and a pompous anarchist poet named Rick. This led to Edmondson and Mayall, along with Comedy Store compere Alexi Sale and other upcoming comedians, including Nigel Planer, Peter Richardson, French, and Saunders, Arnold Brown and Pete Richens, setting up their own comedy club called The Comic Strip in the Raymond Review Bar, a strip club in Soho. Mayall's Kevin Turvey character gained a regular slot in A Kick Up the 80s, first broadcast in 1981. He appeared as Rest Home Ricky in Richard O'Brien's Shock Treatment, a sequel to the Rocky Horror Picture Show. He played Denton Vale's resident attendant as the love interest in L. Campbell's Nurse Anne Salong. Mayall's television appearances as Kevin Turvey led to a mockumentary based on the character titled Kevin Turvey, The Man Behind the Green Door, broadcast in 1982. The previous year, he appeared in a bit role in An American Werewolf in London. His stage partnership with Edmondson continued, with them often appearing together as the Dangerous Brothers, hapless daredevils whose hyper-violent antics foreshadowed their characters in Bottom. Channel 4 offered the comic strip group six short films, which became the comic strip Presence, debuting on November 2, 1982. The series, which continued sporadically for many years, saw Mayall play a wide variety of roles. It was known for anti-establishment humor and for parodies such as Bad News on Tour, a spoof rockumentary starring Mayall, Richardson, Edmondson and Planer as a heavy metal band. At the time the comic strip Presence was negotiated, the BBC took an interest in The Young Ones, a sitcom written by Mayall and his then-girlfriend Lisa Meyer, in the same anarchic vein as comic strip. Ben Elton joined the writers. The series was commissioned and first broadcast in 1982, shortly before comic strip. Mayall played Rick, a pompous sociology student and Cliff Richard Devotee. Mayall maintained his double act with Edmondson, who starred as violent punk Vivian. Nigel Planer, as Hippie Neil, and Christopher Ryan, as Mike the Cool Person, also starred, with additional material written and performed by Alexei Sale. The first series was successful and a second was screened in 1984. The show owed a comic debt to Spike Milligan, but Milligan was disapproving of Mayall. Milligan once wrote, Rick Mayall is putrid, absolutely vile. He thinks nose-picking is funny and farting and all that. He is the asshole of British comedy. In 1986, Mayall played the private detective in the video of Peter Gunn by Art of Noise featuring Dwayne Eddy. Becoming a household name. Mayall continued to work on the comic strip films. He returned to stand-up comedy, 
performing on Saturday Live, a British version of the American Saturday Night Live, first broadcast in 1985. He and Edmondson had a regular section as the Dangerous Brothers, their earlier stage act. In 1985, Mail debuted another comic creation. He had appeared in the final episode of the first series of Black Adder, 1983, as Mad Gerald. He returned to play a Lord Flashheart in the Black Adder 2 episode titled Bells. A descendant of this character, Squadron Commander Flashheart, was in the Black Adder Goes Forth episode Private Plane. Dot in the same episode, he was reunited with Edmondson, who played German flying ace Baron von Richthof in the Red Baron, in a scene where he comes to rescue Captain Black Hatter from the Germans. A decade later, Mayall also appeared in Black Hatter, back and forth as Robin Hood. In 1986, Mayall joined Planer, Edmondson and Elton to star as Richie Rich and Filthy Rich and Cat Flap, which was billed as a follow-up to The Young Ones. The idea of Filthy Rich and Cat Flap was a reaction to comments made by Jimmy Tarbuck about The Young Ones. The series' primary focus was to highlight the has-been status of light entertainment. While May all received positive critical reviews, viewing figures were poor and the series was never repeated on the BBC. In later years, release on video, DVD and repeats on UK TV found a following. Mayall suggested that the series did not last because he was uncomfortable acting in an Elton project, when they had been co-writers on The Young Ones. In the same year, Mayall had a no. one hit in the UK singles chart, when he and his co-stars from The Young Ones teamed with Cliff Richard to record Living Doll for the inaugural comic relief campaign. Mayall played Rick one last time in the comic relief stage show and supported the comic relief cause for the rest of his life. 1987 saw Mayall co-star with Edmondson in one episode of the ITV sitcom Hardwick House, although adverse reaction from press and viewers saw ITV withdraw the series after two episodes, leaving their appearance on broadcast. He appeared on the children's television series Jack and Ori. His crazed portrayal of Roald Dahl's George's Marvelous Medicine proved memorable. However, the BBC received complaints with viewers claiming both story and presentation to be both dangerous and offensive. In 1987, May all played fictional conservative MP Alan Beresford Beesterd in the sitcom The New Statesman, Yorkshire Television, written by Lawrence Marks and Maurice Gran. The character was a satirical portrait of Tory MPs in the United Kingdom in the 1980s and early 1990s. The program ran for four series, incorporating two BBC specials, between 1987 and 94 and was successful critically and in the ratings. In a similar vein to his appearance on Jack and Ori, in 1989 Mayall starred in a series of bit shows for ITV called Grim Tales, in which he narrated Grim Brothers' fairy tales while puppets acted the stories. In the early 1990s, Mayall starred in humorous adverts for Nintendo games and consoles. With money from the ads, he bought his house in London which he called Nintendo Towers. 1990s In 1991, Edmondson and Mayall co-starred in the West End production of Beckett's Waiting for Godot at the Queen's Theatre with Mayall playing Vladimir, Edmondson as Estragon and Christopher Ryan as Lucky. Here they came up with the idea for Bottom, which they said was a cruder cousin to Waiting for Gatto. Bottom was commissioned by the BBC and three series were shown between 1991 and 1995. Mayall appeared in Bottom as Richard Ritchie Richard alongside Edmondson's Eddie Elizabeth Hitler. The series featured slapstick violence taken to new extremes, and gained a strong cult following. In 1993, Following the second series, Mayall and Edmondson decided to take a stage show version of the series on a national tour, Bottom, Live. It was a commercial success, filling large venues. Four additional stage shows were embarked upon in 1995, 1997, 2001 and 2003, each meeting with great success. The violent nature of these shows saw both Edmondson and Mayall ending up in hospital at various points. A film version, Guest House Paradiso was released in 1999. A fourth TV series was also written, but not commissioned by the BBC. May all start alongside Phoebe Cates in Drop Dead Fred, 1991, as the eponymous character, a troublesome imaginary friend who reappears from a woman's childhood. He also appeared in Carry on Columbus, 1992, with other alternative comedians. May all also provided the voice of the character Froglip, the Prince of the Goblins, in the 1992 animated film adaption of the 1872 children's tale The Princess and the Goblin by George MacDonald. In 1993, he appeared in Rick Mayall Presents, six individual comedy dramas, Mickey Love, Briefest Encounter, Dancing Queen, The Big One, 
Dirty Old Town, Claire the Loon. Mayo's performances won him a Best Comedy Performer Award at that year's British Comedy Awards, and a second series of three was broadcast in early 1995. He provided the voice for Little Sod in Simon Brett's How to Be a Little Sod, written in 1991 and adapted as ten consecutive episodes broadcast by the BBC in 1995. In the early 1990s, he auditioned for the roles of Bonsai, Zazu and Timon in The Lion King, 1994. He was asked to audition by lyricist Tim Rice, but the role of Zazu finally went to Rowan Atkinson. In 1995, Mail featured in a production of the play Cellmates alongside Stephen Fry. Not long into the run, Fry had a nervous breakdown and fled to Belgium, where he remained for several days, and the play closed early. In 2007, Mail said of the incident, You don't leave the trenches, selfishness is one thing, being a cunt is another. I mustn't start that war again. Edmondson poked fun at the event during their stage tours. In Bottom Live, the big number two tour, after Mayall gave mocking gestures to the audience and insulted their town in a silly voice, Edmondson said, Have you finished yet? It's just I'm beginning to understand why Stephen Fry fucked off. In Bottom Live 2003, Weapons Grade Y Fronts Tour, after Richie accidentally fondles Eddie, he replies, I see why Stephen Fry left that play. Towards the end of the cellmate's run, Mayall revealed a replica gun, a prop from the play, to a passerby in the street. Mayall was cautioned over the incident and later conceded that this was incredibly stupid, even by my standards. From 1999, Mayall was the voice of the black-headed seagull Kahar, in the first and second series of the animated television program, Watership Down. In the late 1990s Mayall was featured in a number of adverts for Virgin Trains. In 1998, Mayall was involved in a serious quad bike accident. Dot for details see below, the pair wrote the first draft of their feature film Guest House Paradiso while Mayall was still hospitalized. They planned to co-direct, but Edmondson took on the duties himself. Mayall returned to work doing voiceovers. His first post-accident acting job was in the 1998 Jonathan Creek Christmas special, as D.I. Gideon Pryke, a role he later reprised in 2013. 2000s In 2000, Mayall voiced all characters for the PlayStation and Windows PC video game Hogs of War. Also that year, Mayall appeared in the video production of Jesus Christ Superstar as King Herod. He joked in the making of documentary, which was included on the DVD release, that the real reason why millions of people want to come and see this is because I'm in it. Me and Jesus. In 2001 Mayall acted as Lt. Daniel Blaney in the episode The White Knight Stratagem from the series Murder Rooms, The Mysteries of the Real Sherlock Holmes. In 2002, May all teamed up with Marx and Gran once more when he starred as Professor Adonis Canute in the ITV sitcom, Believe Nothing. Dot however, the sitcom failed to repeat the success of The New Statesman and lasted for only one series. Persistent speculation amongst critics and fans of the American cartoon comedy television sitcom Family Guy consider that the character Stewie Griffin was closely modeled on Mayall's performance in the character of Richard Richard in Bottom. Following 2003's Bottom, Live Tour, Bottom 5, Weapons Grade Y Fronts, Mayall stated that he and Edmondson would return with another tour. In 2004 Mayall had a starring cameo role playing the record boss in the video short ABBA, Our Last Video Ever. Mayall voiced Edwin in the BBC show Shoebox Sue. In September 2005, he released an in-character semi-fictionalized autobiography titled Bigger Than Hitler, Better Than Christ. ISBN 0007207271. At the same time, he starred in a new series for ITV, All About George. In 2006, Mayall reprised the role of Alan Beastard in the play The New Statesman 2006, Blair Beastard Project, written by Marx and Gran. By this time Beastard had left the floundering conservatives and become a Labour MP. In 2007, Following a successful two-month run in London's West End at the Trafalgar Studios, a heavily rewritten version toured theaters nationwide, with Marx and Grant constantly updating the script to keep it topical. However, May also succumbed to chronic fatigue and flu in May 2007 and withdrew from the show. Alan Beastard was played by his understudy, Mike Sherman during his hiatus. Mayall was cast as the poltergeist Peeves in Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, 2001, the first of the Harry Potter films although all of his scenes were cut from the film. He had not been made aware that his scenes had been cut until the full film was officially unveiled at the premiere. During filming the children in the cast were unable to suppress their giggles when he was filming in Woodcorps. 
Since Mayall's death there has been an outcry for the release of this footage from his fans. He told the story of this hiring slash firing on his second website blog for his film, Evil Calls, The Raven, 2008. For Evil Calls, Mayall's role as Winston the Butler was shot in 2002, when the film was titled Alone in the Dark. The film was not completed until 2008, and was released under its new Evil Calls title, to distance it from the Alone in the Dark computer game film. Mayall provided the voice of the Andrex puppy in the TV commercials for Andrex toilet paper, and also had a voice part in the Domestus cleaning product adverts. He performed the voice of King Arthur in the children's television cartoon series, King Arthur's Disasters, alongside Matt Lucas who plays Merlin. Mayall also had a recurring role in the Channel 5 remake of the light-hearted drama series, Minder. He also provided the voice of Cufflink in the 2005 animated film Valiant. In September 2009, Mayall played a supporting role in the television program Midsummer Murders, shown on ITV1 and made by Meridian Broadcasting, as David Roper, a recovering party animal and tenuous friend of the families in and around Shimpark House. 2010-2014 in April 2010, Motivation Records released Mayall's England football anthem Noble England for the 2010 FIFA World Cup which he recorded with producer Dave Loughran at Brick Lane Studios in London. The release, on 26 April, was designed to coincide with St. George's Day and the baptism of Shakespeare. On the track, Mayall performs an adapted speech from Shakespeare's Henry V. In June 2010, the official BBC Match of the Day compilation CD, 2010 edition, was released by Sony slash Universal featuring Noble England. After Mayall's death in 2014, a campaign led by John Mortar began to get Noble England to number one during the 2014 FIFA World Cup. It rapidly climbed the official charts in the United Kingdom and reached number seven. In September 2010, an audiobook, narrated by Mayall, Cutie and the Sofa Guard was released by Digital Download. The book was written by Chris Wade and released by Wisdom Twins Books. In this same month, Mayall played the voice of Roy's dad and recorded five episodes of animation in November. Mayall provided narrative for five different characters for CDs accompanying children's books published by Clickety Books. The books aid speech and language development by bombarding the child with troublesome sound targets. He recorded introductions and narratives for the titles. On March 5, 2011, Mayall appeared on Let's Dance for Comic Relief in which he came on stage and attacked Ade Edmondson with a frying pan during his performance of the Dying Swan Ballet. Edmondson mentioned backstage that it was the first time in eight years they had done something like that together and claimed Mayall had left his head with a small bump. It would be the last time the duo performed together in public. In April 2011, Mayall again revived the character of Alan Beaster to make an appearance in a satirical television advertisement for the No Two Off campaign prior to the 2011 voting reform referendum in the UK. The character is shown being elected under the alternative vote system, then using his newly gained position of power to renege on his campaign promises. In his personal life, Rick Mayall did not support the alternative vote. In May, Mayall became the eponymous Bombardier in a TV advertising campaign for Bombardier Bitter in the UK. The adverts landed broadcaster UK TV Dave in trouble with Ofcom when they were found to breach the Ofcom code for linking alcohol with sexual attractiveness or success. On August 23, 2012, the BBC announced that Edmondson and Mayall's characters of Richie and Eddie would be returning in 2013 in Hooligans Island, a television adaptation of their 1997 tour of the same name. However, on October 15, 2012, Edmondson announced during an interview with BBC radio presenter Mark Paulette that the project was cancelled prior to production as he wished to pursue other interests. In September 2012, Mayall starred in The Last Hurrah, a six-episode, full-cast audio series that he also co-wrote with Craig Green and Dominic Vince. In November 2012, Mayall narrated several children's books on the Me Books app, such as The Getaway and Banana by children's illustrator and author Ed Veer. In October 2013 he appeared in Channel 4 sitcom Man Down, playing the father of the protagonist, Greg Davis, despite being only 10 years older. On May 7, 2014, Mayall made one of his last recorded performances in the form of poetry and voiceovers read on English rock band Magic 8 Ball's second album Last of the Old Romantics, released on November 10, 2014. Mayall's final TV appearance was in the first episode of the second series of Krakenori, which was broadcast posthumously on September 24, 2014 on Dave. Personal Life Family
Mayall married Scottish makeup artist Barbara Robin in 1985, and the couple had three children. The couple met in 1981 while filming A Kick Up the 80s and embarked on a secret affair. At the time, Mayall was in a long-term relationship with Lisa Meyer. Upon finding out Robin was pregnant, Mayall left Meyer, who was also pregnant with his child at the time, while on a shopping trip with her and Ben Elton, and eloped with Robin to Barbados. Meyer would later suffer a miscarriage. In a 2002 newspaper article, Mayall said that Meyer had since forgiven him. Politics May all twice publicly involved himself in political campaigns. In 2002 he dressed up as Adolf Hitler for a cinema advertisement opposing the United Kingdom abolishing its national currency the pound sterling in favor of the euro, as a part of its membership of the European Union. In the United Kingdom alternative vote referendum of 2011 he appeared in a television broadcast for the No campaign in character as Alan Beaster to oppose the adoption of an alternative non-proportional electoral system for Westminster parliamentary elections. Quad bike accident. On April 9, 1998, Mayall was injured after crashing a quad bike near his home in Devon. Mayall's daughter Bonnie and her cousin had asked him to take them for a ride on the bike, a Christmas gift from his wife, but he refused because of bad weather approaching, and he went on out alone. Mayall remembered nothing about the accident. His wife Barbara looked out of the window and saw him lying on the ground trapped beneath the quad, which had turned over on top of him. Mayall later joked that his wife believed he was fooling around and initially left him for a few minutes. He was airlifted to Plymouth Stereford Hospital, with two hematomas and a fractured skull. During the following 96 hours, he was kept sedated to prevent movement which could cause pressure on his brain. His family was warned that he could die or have brain damage. He was in a coma for several days. After five days doctors felt it safe to bring him back to consciousness. In a BBC Radio 2 interview in 2000, Mayall said that when filming Guest House Paradiso, Edmondson would make sure he had afternoons free to rest from filming following the accident. During Mayall's hospitalization, the comic strip special, Four Men in a Car, was broadcast for the first time. The film involves Mayall's character being hit by a car. Mayall and Edmondson joked about the event in stage versions of Bottom, Edmondson quipping if only I'd fix those brakes properly, Mayall referring to quad bike flashbacks, and Mayall referring to himself. You must know him, that tosser who fell off the quad bike. In his 2005 spoof autobiography, Mayall claims that he rose from the dead. Death. On June 9, 2014, Mayall died at his home in Barnes, Richmond upon Thames, London, from a sudden heart attack after jogging. His funeral took place on June 19, 2014, in St. George's Church in Didisham, Devon. Among those who attended were Don French, Jennifer Saunders, Peter Richardson, Alan Rickman and Males Young Ones co-stars Adrian Edmondson, Nigel Planer, Alexi Sale, and Young Ones co-writer Ben Elton. Edmondson also served as a pallbearer. Mayall was buried on his family estate, Pasture Farm, near Totnes in Devon. Recognition, Critical Opinion and Legacy Filmography Film Television Stage Video Games Books Audiobooks Awards and nominations audiobooks Awards and nominations audiobooks Awards and nominations audiobooks